Stromatolites were the first life to photosynthesize and release oxygen into our world. Ultimately, the planet would have an atmosphere rich in oxygen. But before that could happen, something got in the way. To see what stopped the oxygen reaching the atmosphere, I'm heading deep into the Australian outback. Although this area is dry and dusty now, two and a half billion years ago, these rocks were formed beneath the sea. And they hold the key to what happened to the oxygen. Back then, the seas were rich in iron that was dissolved in the water. When the oxygen given off by the stromatolites met the iron, they bonded together. The result, huge amounts of iron oxide formed, or as we usually know it, rust. It was this reaction that stopped the oxygen leaving the sea. The rust fell to the bottom of the sea and it, it built up his layers. And you can, ah, oh, this is so hot. You can see these layers right here. I mean, this is metal, that's why it's so hot. You can see the layers in the fine, colourful banding on this rock. Here, it's on a tiny scale, but on this cliff, it's on a massive scale. The layers of rust were laid down all across the world, eventually turning into seams of iron ore. This iron ore, in fact, most of the iron ore mined across the world, only exists because very early life, stromatolites, started filling the seas with oxygen more than two billion years ago. 